Hi guys, I'm Beata from horoscopesandreadings.com and in today's video I would like to uh, react on uh, my 2017 issue of GQ's magazine. I believe that you have already noticed uh, Brad, Brad Pitt's cover and interview there and uh, I find it very interesting from astrological point of view. That's why I would like to share it with you. Well, in that interview, he talks divorce, quitting drinking, and becoming a better person. This interview is very honest, and uh, it's very interesting because uh, he he uncovers there his uh, his own private hidden world of emotions and feelings. First, I would like to start with quote. So let's quote Brad Pitt. Uh, we know more, we're more focused on psychology today. I come from a place where, you know, it strands, if we get a bruise or cut, we don't discuss it, we just deal with it. We just go on. The downside of that is uh, it's the same with our emotion. I'm personally very retarded when it comes to taking inventory of my emotions. I'm much better at covering up. Unquote. Well, uh, this was very accurate from astrological point of view. That's why we have astrology, because it's very helpful to, to understand yourself better. Yes, So you don't have to wait uh, to be age 53, as Brad Pitt is, to understand yourself better. And uh, now I will make connection with astrology. Well, uh, Brad Pitt has Moon in Capricorn. Now, what is Moon in astrology? Moon is that planet, because we consider uh, Moon as a planet in astrology, and uh, Moon is responsible for our inner hidden world, world of our emotions and feelings. And uh, if you have your moon in Capricorn, this is usually, uh, let's say, tougher or more difficult position uh, to have your moon in. Because moon is very soft, it's originally ruled by Cancer. And now moon is put in position to be in a, in a very tough, business-oriented sign of Capricorn. So uh, usually uh, what this uh, person does is that uh, he doesn't understand what he feels yes it's not only that he has hard times to to reveal his emotions to other people but he is uh, used to restrain his own emotions inside of him so um, it usually takes some time as we can see uh, when uh, this person comes uh, to that self-discovery and he is capable to understand himself better yes so uh, uh, this can really be a uh, very much self-discovery time for Brad Pitt uh, because after this period of time he will be a completely different person which uh, as I have read that interview he's already becoming much more aware what he feels. Whoever has a moon in Capricorn is a person who is usually a steady and loyal partner. That's why uh, I believe that he really was loyal to Angelina and uh, he definitely suffered and he obviously still suffers a lot because uh, whoever has moon in Capricorn is very much family oriented yes because uh, this is sign uh, Capricorn sign is uh, all about security financial security it's provider uh, and uh, this is definitely a person who is uh, let's say more serious or not just more serious but very much serious when it comes to his family uh, so uh, this is uh, what is Brad Pitt about. I believe that uh, when he was younger, uh, he didn't cry a lot, maybe as a baby or uh, as a toddler. And uh, he probably considered emotions and feelings as weakness. Yes. Uh, but now, he is now 53 
and uh, he is uh, he is changing his mind about this whole emotions and feelings side. In that interview, he actually says that uh, he goes to therapy and he likes it. Yes. So this is another thing uh, which is uh, which is very important uh, when you have Moon in Capricorn because. Also, the therapy uh, helps you understand yourself better. But I believe that uh, when he was younger, uh, he he maybe you know he would not go there. Yes. So it is uh, all about his uh, self discovery and self development. So now I would like to show you uh, his forecast, his prediction for. Uh, for current, let's say his current transits, so we can understand better what's going on in Brad Pitt's life. Well, uh, this is his birth chart. Uh, inner wheel, what? Yeah, inner wheel is uh, his birth chart, and outer wheel are his current transits. Uh, I will make this very simple and quick, uh, just to give you a quick overview what's going on in his life now so uh, as we can see he has a uh, transiting saturn uh, in his first house yes uh, those who are more familiar know that uh, first house is house uh, of our own personality it's house of our uh, outer appearance yes so it's very important house in astrology if you have uh, your uh, Saturn transiting through the first house we can definitely say that life got cold yes Saturn is uh, more uh, cold planet it's very serious planet life gets tougher usually and uh, as we can see uh, his Saturn will conjunct uh, his son in, in his first house so uh, things are definitely more serious in his life uh, there's a lot of uh, restrictions of energy because sun is our energy and if uh, we have a, a transiting saturn uh, through our sun we cannot uh, express ourselves uh, properly yes and we have some other issues and problems and what is uh, even more interested uh, this is his birth chart as well so he has leo on the cups of the eighth house uh, that means that uh, sun rules his eighth house uh, which is uh, very very deep uh, house uh, originally ruled by Scorpio so um, I don't want to say that he will deal with crisis but uh, this is also one of the scenarios yes so he will dig deep into his uh, psyche let's say uh, so this is what uh, is going on in his life uh, now I want to make this video short so I will don't go to details but uh, I have one more thing I would like to point out here is that he has his transiting Pluto uh, through his second house yes so uh, Pluto uh, already had and will uh, transit through his uh, planets uh, through his birth chart planets Mercury Moon and Venus so second house is house of money yes we all know that but it is more than money house because this is also house of our uh, values self versus self value so uh, even from his birth chart we can say that uh, self verse or self value is his life 10 because he has his second house packed with three planets yes or even four yes uh, he also has saturn there so uh what can we say is that uh brad pitt will go through this uh, let's say evaluation of his own self verse self-confidence i don't think that uh, he is very confident person right now right now and uh, Pluto will transit uh, through his second house a few years yet 
So there's a lot of what will be going on in his personal life uh, yet. But at the end of this uh, transiting Pluto cycle, he will come uh, as, uh, as I believe a brand new person. But uh, it's a lot what uh, he will deal uh, with many things uh, during uh, during uh, upcoming years. It will be all about all about his uh, his uh, true self value. Uh, you know what? A um, few years ago, I read one interview with Brad Pitt, and he said that he loves money. I believe that because second house it's also a money house, and he has four planets there. So <laughs> yes, he definitely loves money. But uh, it is not uh, only about money; it's also about self value and self worth and uh, self confidence. Uh, so probably his uh, self-confidence was linked to money, yes, uh, in past. But now, because he has uh, that Pluto transit there, uh, he uh, or life will force him to dig deeper into his values and uh, not only to value money or possessions, but uh, also to value himself, yes. So it's big lesson for Brad Pitt, but as I have read that interview, he is uh, in the process, but uh, I like it a lot. So this is all what I wanted to share with you and uh, have a nice week. Bye bye.